and you can you can uh, easily enroll yourself and you can attend wherever you want uh, you know, where, whether you are belong to pakistan or india or your middle east or anywhere from the country uh, this uh, facility, this facility is provided by uh, SafeCon. SafeCon is a pioneer uh, in Pakistan, or India, or Middle East, or anywhere from the world. So it's an eco uh, facility. This facility is provided by uh, SafeCon. SafeCon is a pioneer uh, in Pakistan. It is eco, so there is a huge disturbance in background noise uh, because uh, there is an ecosystem. Can you have uh, the connection of this ecosystem? background noise uh, because uh, there is an ecosystem. Can you have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Mr. Mr. Fan, uh, Mr. Fan, uh, thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, we would like to request everyone, please mute, mute your mic. So, there is a huge disturbance. Mute. Mr. Uh, you can uh, mute uh, everyone's mic from your side because you are the host. Mr. Uh, you can uh, mute uh, everyone mic from your side. Yes, yes, I, I am doing that. I am uh, I'm muting the uh, mics of everyone. I am muting mics for everyone. Okay, with the name of Allah, we're going to start uh, about today's presentation, today's webinar. Thank you for joining us. Um, please mute, mute, mute your mics. Okay, uh, uh, let's have a brief introduction of uh, BCSP uh, and ASP program. ASP is basically, as already told you, that this is a goal rated safety certification that is purely uh, designed and developed for the uh, safety professionals. It is unlike uh, other program that doesn't need any uh, safety or any science uh, engineering background. But this program required uh, science background or a minimum number of years. I think it's a graduation is a prerequisite for this program. Number one, number two, there is an experience requirement of also. Uh, I think three years for the safety uh, experience in the field of safety. And the most important thing is that there is a clear. Uh, this is this makes uh, this program makes it distinguish from other program, uh, other safety uh, certification, because it's provide a minimum prerequisition requirement that show that only the uh, those who are belong to the safety uh, background or the safety career, they are only in uh, students, pure general student can only enroll themselves, number one. 
the program itself contain the technical details, the calculations and the other uh, standards and codes that is generally missing in many of the program, including the NIBOSH. So uh, OSHA, many of the OSHA requirement and even legal uh, reg regulation that is uh, must in the US, uh, but are purely guideline for the rest of the world, uh, but are technically very, very sound. So this ASP program uh, include many of the uh, regulatory requirement of the OSHA. So because you're learning the OSHA and you're learning the majority of the, of the industrial safety uh, requirements and so that's why your uh, grip on the subject, once you qualify this program, as comparative is Sorry, uh, my mic was, uh, so I was uh, introducing uh, ASP, CSP program and uh, uh, the SafeCon. First, the BCSP is basically the board behind this program. ASP is basically the, uh, the this is a, a gold rated certification in technical, uh, for, uh, that covers the technical sides and the managerial sides of uh, industrial safety and the best thing of the ASP is uh, that this program offer you uh, or includes the technical details and it doesn't require any uh, sort of essay in the examination that's the, all, all the questions are just give me one minute no Many of these the same chamber. Many of the same chamber. Uh, Mr. Salahuddin will uh, start this program.
Okay, Mr. Fawn, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Fawn Sharif is our esteemed faculty member uh, with SafeCon Bureau of Inspection Certification, USA Inc., SBIC, SafeCon USA Inc. Um, I welcome all of you guys in, in this beautiful evening. Okay, Mr. Fawn, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Fawn Sharif is our esteemed faculty member uh, with SafeCon Bureau of Inspection Certification, USA Inc., SBIC, SafeCon USA Inc. जोहर साहब आपकी आवाज क्लियर नहीं आ रही सर आपका ऐसा लग रहा है आप बहुत दूर से बात कर रहे हैं और सेकेंड ये सर आपकी आवाज जो है ना वो डिस्ट्रॉशन बहुत हो रहा है ई को बहुत आ रहा है आपकी आवाज में जी जी ये जोहर साहब आपकी आवाज क्लियर नहीं आ रही सर आपका ऐसा लग रहा है बहुत दूर से बात कर रहे हैं अच्छा कैन यू हेयर मी क्लियरली नाउ ये सर अभी आपकी बात क्लियर है ये ये टेक्निकल इशू था वी अपॉलॉजी फॉर दैट बिकॉज़ वी दिस प्रेजेंटेशन इज गोना बीइंग शेयर्ड एट our youtube channel as well so youtube because of the voice of that youtube channel my voice had a repercussion so they had an echo fine so we have muted that and now we are comfortable to start um uh, and i believe you can see our screen as well all right so uh, i welcome all of you safety leaders uh, joining this beautiful presentation uh, in this in this beautiful evening with us uh safe con yeah, has been been being considered as pioneer and leader uh, in asp csp prap 9 years of leadership in asp csp even in fact people wherever people see the name of asp csp they they say okay uh, this is being offered by safe con or uh, mr salahuddin jor because people call us custodian of this program even even they call us custodian so people say that uh, safe con has promoted more than The, this this the, these certifications uh, asp csp more than board of csp of america so we are very much passionate we are very, uh, we have expertise we have 9 years of expertise to deliver this program to help you pass the certification so uh, this presentation this webinar will give you all of insights you need to pass this prestigious certification the more of uh, communication for the uh, for this program uh, because we have a lot of uh, safety leaders joining this program from other nationalities it would be the standard english but uh, but if uh, someone from uh, uh, want to speak in urdu language or hindi language they can ask no problem at all okay so who want to have their name on this great certification i believe everyone everyone joining this program uh, want to have want to have uh, this prestigious certification uh this is csp certification this is the uh, this is earned by mr atif wahid um no, he was uh, our ex student i think four years back yes 2017 and you can see the the elegance the elegance of the certification you you receive the name pin as well you receive the beautiful certification from the united states and uh, the good thing is of this exam is that transparency in exam you receive result on the spot immediately after the test test so rest assure your money your hard earned money is in safe hands no one is going to fail you deliberately just for the sake of money so that is why asp csp exams are respected worldwide and this is invigilated exam keep in mind this is invigilated exam and you need everyone is not registered uh, there are certain criteria there are certain criteria like you must have a bachelor degree you must have verified experience um, 
other uh, if you if you do not hold bachelor degree if you do not hold, hold verified experience board of csp is not giving you going to give you registration so they are not money motive they are not uh, uh, that uh, they have standards because this is certification and they have standards that is why acp csp on merit it is being respected worldwide uh, including united states north america uh, gcc states or any part of the world all right so uh, 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 this is our, uh, our mechanism of um, uh, the format is is that we will uh, we will deliver our presentation for 30 minutes and then after we will take your, uh, your questions if you want to ask any questions we will have um, 10 minutes or 15 minutes session as well okay uh, this is about uh, uh, safecon bureau of inspection spic america safecon bureau of inspection certification usa is american training company we have head office in new york city we have registered with the new york state government and uh, uh, i we myself uh, myself and my company we are offering the ASP CSP since 2012, which means nine years of leadership, nine years of expertise, nine years of um, backup material. So what we can do for you, no, uh, no one can match what we can do for you uh, based on our expertise, based on our consistency, based on our leadership. Anyone who has started in market ASP CSP are basically our copy paster, follower, our ex-employees. So when there is, when original is available, you don't need to go to immediators. We offer regular live online batch and from August 20, our batch number 60 gonna starting. This is live online. Our uh, CSP instructor will teach you each and everything, all aspects of ASP program, all the technicalities. Um, the syllabus, syllabus is uh, technical. Syllabus is based on physics, math, chemistry, and algebra concepts. These are not stories. It is highly technical and especially suited for those guys who are looking for career in with the client companies. Client companies, uh, big, large client companies having plants. So P companies having plants always look for look to hire ASP and CSP. So uh, if your dream is to become CSP, you are at the right platform, rest assured. So our next badge, which is badge number 60, gonna starting. 20th of August, and if you're making your mind to join this wonderful batch, uh, we are going to give you a huge discount. Uh, if you are present in today's webinar and referring today's webinar, referring today's uh, promo code, you can avail, you can you can avail of a great discount uh, for the badge starting from August 20. Our faculty is internationally certified and experienced CSP. Myself, my all international credentials, trainer credentials are from United States. And um, uh, our faculty member in Fanchari is uh, CSP. I'm gonna, I'm gonna introduce him in front of you guys. And uh, very soon, uh, another, uh, another great feature of uh, SafeCon is that we are very soon launching ASP and CSP workshops, in-person physical workshops in United States, in Houston, New York, San Francisco, and Chicago. Uh, we, have, we are planning to start from next year. Uh, for sure, uh, we would be able to start from January 2022. So this is all about SBIC, SafeCon Bureau of Inspection America. Uh, our track record, uh, as we told, as I told you earlier, we launched uh, uh, ASPCSP back in 2012. So we have nine years of leadership and expertise, uh, 270 ASPs and 89 CSPs. We have helped them to pass out from our platform in last nine years and this is around the world not specific to just one country we have we have a nationality global student body we have nationalities from america from australia from india from saudi arabia from uh, from uh, uae Qatari, pakistan um, almost almost 15 nationalities are our student body and we have outstanding success rate of 98 percent because why is that? Because we provide huge material, huge training, and huge motivation. That is enough to pass this wonderful certification, prestigious certification. We provide latest materials. We provide latest um, uh, exam questions. And we provide mock test as well. Mock test means uh, 
um, uh, exactly same and on the pattern of BCSP test after after you finish your training and preparation, we will conduct your mock test as well. So lot of lot of things. It's a rigorous program. Please keep in mind that if you are uh, used to a comfort zone, do not join this program because we will give you a lot of assignments, a lot of materials, a lot of practice tests. So um, we need your active participation and your zeal participation if you are interested to pass ASP and CSP in first term. All right. We need response from your side as well because alone, alone we cannot uh, achieve the goal of passing ASP and CSP in first attempt. Okay, meet our faculty. Uh, this is Mr. Fan Sharif with me in the picture and also joining us in this uh, wonderful evening. Um, Mr. Fan Sharif holds CSP from Board of CSP United States and uh, over 20 years of EHS management experience with leading multinationals such as uh, Agility Logistics, Angro, Angro Corp, um, his teaching style is fascinating, outstanding, and he has outstanding ability to convey and convert complex concepts of ASP and CSP into easy, understandable way. Right. Uh, so we have received uh, uh, outstanding feedback from the teach, uh, program of Irfan Sharif that people say that uh, Irfan Sharif teach in a way that uh, complex concepts complex uh, concepts uh, he turns into a very simple uh, in a simple manner simple way so everyone even even a naive person can understand in easily what he is trying to communicate so this is the beauty this is the teaching style of irfan sharif he has a more than more than 100 asps and csps pass the certification he is with us for more than uh, 3 years and uh, he is ha currently having the csp faculty with us at safe fund usa so I, I will I will invite him. Uh, so, so he will he will uh, he will throw light. Uh, he will also uh, uh, convey conveying you a lot of information uh, when I will invite him. Okay, uh, my name is Salah. I think most of you guys are familiar with me. Um, um, I'm just a student of Safety World, and um, uh, my passion is to is to help professionals. My passion is to help uh, businesses uh, to grow with the help of safety. I'm OSHA, US Department of Labor Auto, uh, Authorized Outreach Trainer, General Industry and National Safety Council Leaders Instructor, STI USA Scaffold Instructor. I have completed a lot of uh, uh, NFP trainings in the United States, including CFPS, CFI, H2S Trainer Trainer from Teach Engineering University, Texas. Currently having SafeCon, uh, United States and Pakistan as uh, Chief Executive Officer, and uh, also having faculty of PGD OSH, Postgraduate Diploma in Occupational Safety and Health at any engineering university, president of WorkSafe Pakistan, and additionally, just a student of Safety World. I try to add value to the lives of people and companies. Uh, I tr always try to, to, to do, um, to, uh, to, 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 to add value to the lives of people, not, to, not just to do uh, a routine work or ordinary work, right? So um, safety is uh, my identity. Safety uh, is uh, what I what I uh, deliver. What, what training is what I um, learning, teaching, delivering courses. This is my identity in the market. It's okay. All right. So I travel all. Uh, I travel the United States very frequently. I travel GCC states very frequently. I travel all past cities of Pakistan very frequently, right? I'm a, I'm a very passionate traveler as well, besides screen. All right, so uh, uh, let's learn about, uh, uh, first learn about ASP fees structure. Uh, a lot of guys are, in, are interested to know what is the fee structure of ASP. So this is fee structure, our fee structure on your screen. We charge $400 for training and books. So $400 includes live online, Training and books, exam workbooks and textbook. Other than that, you need to pay $160 for BCSP registration. You will pay directly to board of CSP. And uh, and once uh, initially you need to pay $400 plus $160, $5 to $60. And once you're ready to appear for exam, you will purchase the exam from board of CSP in $350. So each time, each time uh, you use ready to sit for exam, you will pay $350 to 
board of CSP. All right. So this is the total cost of ASP. It's because most of the guys in this uh, in this webinar are interested to join ASP program because this is a part one. So once you pass ASP, then you will be eligible for CSP. Although there are some guys uh, who are holding uh, qualification like uh, NIBOSH diploma, they want to proceed directly to CSP, but they are not, uh, they are rare, but um, th this depends on your situation. Okay, so you have to contact our team, you have to contact SafeCon, what is your situation? You want to start, you want to, uh, you want to directly start CSP or you want to start through ASP. So it, uh, it purely depends on your situation. Now, uh, a lot of people are interested to know the eligibility. All right, so jump to uh, eligibility requirements. Eligibility for BCSP certifications is, uh, they call it four E's. Four E's. What these four E's are education, which means a minimum bachelor degree experience, Okay, verified working experience, examination, passing the examination, and ethics. They have a strict code of conduct, code of ethics. You, need, you have to sign that ethics. All right. So this is the uh, this is the only body in uh, exam body in the world that that uh, put a lot of focus, a lot of emphasis on ethics. Okay. So this is the new thing I think in your knowledge. So the four E's are required uh, are eligibility for ASP or CSP. Okay, additional requirements for CSP must pass two exams and maintain a qualifying credential uh, for ASP waiver. All right. Okay, uh, for C, uh, for uh, if we talk about ASP, for ASP, you must have a minimum a bachelor degree from accredited college or university. A bachelor degree means. Uh, this is usually called 16 years education, all right? All right? Traditionally in Pakistan and India, uh, this uh, sometimes people ha are having 14 years degree, people, sometimes people are having 16 years education. So, uh, but what, what Board of CSP asks from candidates is a minimum a bachelor degree from any recognized college or university. And this is about education and not about experience. At least one year of verified work experience where safety is at least 50%. 50%. Your job description must have at least 50% uh, preventive professional level with breadth and depth of safety duties. So what does it mean? It, does, it means that uh, you may not be hardcore safety professional for last one year. You might be, uh, because um, we received uh, so, uh, typical cases like we received uh, uh, an inquiry from a plant manager. A plant manager is not a hardcore safety professional, but he said that I usually perform safety duties. That is part of my job. For example, risk management, for example, risk assessment. Uh, the plant manager, manager was saying that risk assessment, managing, uh, risk management, uh, applying uh, a lot of controls is is actually the part of my daily job. So, because of those uh, uh, job description, job duties, that plant manager was also uh, eligible to join this program. Right. So that doesn't mean that only hardcore safety professionals are eligible. No. If you are, if you, if some certain people are not hardcore safety professionals, but but safety is part of their daily job, they are eligible, right? If you will have questions, uh, we will give you time. No worries about that. We will take your questions in, in the end. So this is all about ASP eligibility requirements. Okay, R uh, what about CSP eligibility requirements? For CSP, you must have ASP passed or you uh, they, uh, are uh, you you might uh, uh, enjoy ASP waivers, and what is that? For example, if you are holding the Bosch diploma, so you are eligible to directly apply for CSP. But 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 keep in mind that uh, education and experience requirement is not waived. You still need a bachelor degree and four years of verified work experience to, to become eligible for a CSP exam. 
all right okay these are some other certification but our main concern right now here is only asp and csp so i already discussed uh, eligibility requirements okay exam exam pattern is multiple choice um four hours exam and uh, uh, you you res you get results immediately after the test and uh, you receive your certification within two weeks all right so computer based testing and you have you this is not home based exam this is invigilated exam you have to take take your id with you at pearson vu test centers around the world okay so this is third party examination to be conduct conducted by uh, vu vue uh, vue pearson right so uh, you have to wa walk in to P vue pearson you have to show your id and uh, in a controlled environment you have to attempt your exam but good news is that you receive your result immediately after the test this is the biggest uh, level of transparency in the field of health and safety credentials okay what safecon do for you what safecon can do for you uh, as a leader as a pioneer for last 9 years we we can provide you training and coaching see uh, you can apply directly with the board of csp on their website but bcsp bcsp doesn't provide you materials and they they do provide training but that is very expensive very expensive we provide you uh, training high quality training quite uh, quite cheaper than we board of csp so we provide you training that gives you confidence to pass exam in first attempt we have track record uh, 98% of our students are are passing asp and csp in first attempt we have materials latest materials matching asp10 asp10 what is asp10 this is the current uh, the the current body of knowledge body of uh, domain of the asp then uh, uh, we provide a live online recorded classes if you join us live online we will provide you all recordings of all classes a lot of mock test a lot of mock tests in between and after the test after the training and thousands of practice questions we provide you all right and this is our link of our uh, course website safeconsulting.com/csp you can go directly on our course page and you can get additional details on our website okay okay some these are some other certifications this is not our uh, topic right now so safecon is pioneer and safecon is leader trusted name in asp and csp and this is the loud and clear message on the screen uh, that um, all others who started asp csp are either our students followers or ex employees so people talk about that when pioneer is there to help you why go with imitators why go with the copy pasters so when original pioneer leader is available to help you our expertise our uh, experience of 9 years 9 years those who have started just year back cannot cannot uh, be same with a 9 years leader right and secondly we took risk we took risk and we started for very first time asp csp outside usa when we started that time when no one uh no one in 2012 no one was familiar with the name of asp and csp now 9 years of journey of safe on in this field you can well imagine that uh the risk we took so who deserve who deserve to be to join the program only the leader and pioneer okay safe cons global student body united states as i already told you united states from india from uh saudi arabia qatar UAE, Pakistan, uh, Australia, Africa, almost all parts of the world we have, because our headquarters, our head office in the United States, New York. So we have very strong global body around the world. Who trust Safecon name? name. Okay. Uh, other than that, there are a lot of BCSP certification. For example, CHST, OHST, CIT, SMS. Uh, but at the moment, we are not. We are offering only ASP and CSP because these are most popular one uh, in the market. now uh recertification requirements once you pass the exam you have to earn 25 points every 5 years if you fail to earn 25 points every 5 years after 5 years you have to attempt reexam of either asp or csp 
All right. So if you need further details on recertification, we are available at the end of uh, this webinar. So you have to, uh, you, uh, what, what is 25 points? This, this is basically CPD points. And you, that you can work on very easily. For example, uh, you are, uh, for example, you're joining a seminar, joining a training, joining a conference, uh, you are reading a book, everything is counted. Everything is counted. Everything has a point. And uh, finally, I have a great news for you guys. Absolutely outstanding news that uh, those guys who are present today in this webinar uh, and they want to join SafeCon within next three days. The deadline is three days, so they will uh, they will be able to claim Gignetic fourteen percent discount, fourteen percent discount because uh, what? Why fourteen? Because fourteenth of August is the Independence Day of Pakistan. So because of that, we are offering fourteen percent huge discount. You just have to mention ASPCSP webinar 2021 with SafeCon representative at the time of enrollment, right? So at this stage, you need to enroll to training program. You need to get uh, the workbook, exam workbook, and you need to enroll with the training program, ASP coaching program, which is going to start from 20th of August, which is live online, All right? Okay. Uh, with that, uh, I would like to invite our uh, respected and esteemed faculty member, Mr. Irfan Sharif, uh, to detail you further uh, for five to ten minutes regarding ASP CSP certification and what SafeCon can can do for you guys. Yes, Mr. Irfan. Thank you very much, Mr. Johar. Uh, as uh, Johar has introduced me, that. Uh, uh, I am the faculty member and I will teach you all those who are interested to join us uh, for this wonderful platform uh, for training for the ASP examination for the preparation of ASP exam. So uh, from my perspective, uh, ASP, I like ASP a lot because uh, this is unique from other programs that uh, although it's uh, comparatively uh, difficult, uh, but we will hear, uh, I, I will support you to make sure that this program is completely uh, all the requirement of the understanding, all the, uh, um, the minimum requirement for qualification uh, must be assured. Okay. So uh, there are 200 questions in uh, final exam of PSP, and you will have uh, 300 minutes. So 300 minutes means five hours. So five hours without break. So uh, from the uh, examination point of view, this is very uh, tougher because this is not as the Johars have told that uh, if you are easy, uh, you, are, you want to work within your uh, circle of uh, easiness, this program is not designed for so 300, even just sitting in a room for three, uh, 300 minutes is very difficult. Because the maximum duration of the examination is generally three hours, but it's a five hour. So uh, you have to be engaged, engage yourself for 200 questions. Uh, so on an average 90 seconds per question. That is sometimes is good. And sometimes it seems that uh, 90 seconds is quite uh, less for a number of questions. So yeah, because uh, this is pure technical uh, safety, that's over this technical side, managerial sites, accounting sites, and all uh, this program is mix of all uh, major elements. Uh, but broadly speaking, the technical side as well as the managerial side. And the good thing is that because it's all based on MCQs with the four choices available, that is all standard. And the exam will be uh, uh, exam will be held on uh, years in ex examination center that are third party examination program. So you will have exam on only electronic platform. Okay. So once a question is appeared, once you start your exam. You will have uh, question number one, question number two, question number three, one by one. So there is no sections, okay? So 200, once you have one, you have the 
the screen will be changed to the next to two. For example, you are uh, you do not you have difficulty in question number two. You can skip to the question number three. Now question number four. Similarly, and so on. So once you complete it and go back to the any question, even those who you have done it, but you need a review also, or you can change the answer. Similarly, whatever you have missed out because of uh, any uh, understanding issue or difficulty level, you are prefer to do it at second uh, stage or third stage. You can go to that question directly on that question. Remember this. This is very good feature of this ASP platform examination, okay? And the most important thing is that once you do the last question, and once the top is raised that, are you sure you have done all question and you just click the okay, the moment you click the okay, that yes, you have done, that you have confirmed that you have done all the question. So the next, within one minute, you will get the final uh, result. Of, because this uh, the result is assessed by not by the human. So there is no chance of error. Okay, so the, uh, the computer itself, once you're doing a question computer mark at the same time, because this is all electronic examination. So computer assess uh, once you do it a question. Once you do a question computer automatically read. Okay, if it is okay then. And this, the second group, negative so if you do not know the answer of any particular question and you do not have any idea for example you do not aware of any choices available or uh, just in case so even if you try to work, for example there is a 20 percent 25 percent probability of any because there are four choices available now so you should avail that also. Once you do it all, you will get your result immediately out. And one person has asked the minimum requirement for qualifying this exam. Uh, there is no fixed requirement, by the way. Uh, but generally, on the safe side, 60% uh, is good enough to qualify ESP, which is not very difficult. It's not very difficult. You must have that in many of the examinations, 60% is the minimum. Uh, passing mark. So here is also the 60 percent. And sometimes it's a 57, 58, 58.2, 57.6, something like that. And this is every time this has uh, this is changed because uh, the is also working on that. Uh, those who have uh, understanding of uh, bell curve of uh, uh, from the statistics, they must know that the uh, this curve is always straight. Uh, you have to be uh, because uh, the 500 students globally present uh, and appear in this exam, and uh, based on their uh, examination, uh, based on their result, the, the qualification requirement will vary. Okay. So again, this is based on the uh, the curve of every time. Okay. Right. So, but on generally speaking, we can say simply that sixty percent is safest, is safest. But beyond that, it's automatically safe. Um, at at CES, at this program at uh, SafeCon, we try to cover hundred percent. We try to cover hundred percent, and I teach every minor detail so that. Cannot say that this topic was missed and we could not be prepared for because the uh, uh, safe con was unable to prepare this. So um, uh, we are targeting hundred percent. Okay, we do not need any special item or assistance in question that has been available and that has been uh, included in the recent uh, syllabus. The recent syllabus and the next. Next will be maybe after the two year that will be ASP 11. So the, uh, the syllabus is available in online. You can compare, and I will also make tracking uh, of uh, start even every class. I start with the tracker, whatever is totally available, and whatever we have completed here. 
So based on these, and the second most important thing from the ASP is that it's contained the most technical knowledge, okay? Uh, for example, the OSHA requirement of work at height, OSHA requirement of uh, uh, working inside uh, or crane mm -hmm. operation or the, the regulation, regulatory requirement taught here, okay? So this is a, uh, some introduction of ASP, uh, B, B, CSP, second stage of this program, once you qualify this CSP, you will be uh, called as certified safety professional from BCSP. Okay, so this is, that's all from my side. Uh, if you have any. Excellent. Uh, from Thank, you. Sabu, Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you very much, Irfan. Irfan teach uh, very, very diligently and his feedback is outstanding. And we, uh, this is the only, only program in the world, we claim all over the world, the only ASP training program that stretches up to four months. Four months duration, uh, because now we will take your questions and uh, we have decided to take your questions uh, into chat rooms. You can write into chat rooms because if we allow to speak, I'm sorry to say, because this will convert into fish market. So uh, uh, in order to maintain the decorum of this, uh, webinar and orientation we would like to have your questions in chat rooms you can write in chat rooms and we will discuss we will respond to you in details each and every question will be responded this is our promise so first question is regarding duration this is uh, uh, what is the duration of training program uh, i already told you that this is the longest longest training program in the world even in the united states even in the United States, I, I bet you there are a lot of companies, very good companies, but their duration is not more than two days, not more than two days. And, but our training program stretches four months, two classes in a week. Every class duration is two hours, two and a half, two and a half hours. And now you can, you can calculate the, uh, the hours of if one, uh, uh, what what are the what are the total uh, hours uh, delivery hours of ASP training program? Uh, two 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 hour per day and two uh, two classes in a week. Two classes in a week. So uh, it, it stretches, I think, up to four months because our last batch finished in four months, right? Yeah. So four months is a big period for preparation. ASP is a very tough course, very, uh, it's, it's enjoyable, but very tough as well. So you need hardcore training. You need hardcore preparation. This is not as easy as one, two, three, but you need preparation. So for that preparation, you need to invest your time. So SafeCon is stand behind you for the period of four months. And during this period, we will give you a lot of assignments, test, exam questions, mock test, in order to uh, uh, prepare you very much well. And there is no doubt, there, there won't be any doubt in, in passing your exam in the first attempt. This is rest assured you, this is our guarantee. Okay, uh, regarding a, a second question is, you did not, did not share the PPT for this uh, meeting. My friend, PPT will be shared in the group, become CSP WhatsApp group, official group. Uh, we will share PowerPoint presentation in our uh, become CSP group. No, uh, no worries about that. All right, so uh, take the next question. How much total MCQs and what is minimum passing marks? This is from Atikullah. Uh, I think uh, Mr. Fan has already told you uh, total MCQs. And uh, uh, but uh, Mr. Fan, can you can you uh, can you please tell tell him the the, the candidate? Uh, usually, what are the passing weightage? Okay, uh, there will be two hundred questions, and the duration is five hours and three hundred minutes. And uh, the way minimum uh, passing marks for uh, it is not fixed. It's varies uh, every time. It varies. But generally, uh, whatever we have to do is that uh, it's just 60%. But generally, uh, for the student, it, 
the exam the numbers are not told at how, uh, how much you have been secured, but you have been declared as you have qualified this. Okay. So 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 it's because in certain uh, working on the bell curve. So every time it varies one to two percent, but it can vary point in point two percent, point three percent. The last time it was fifty-eight percent or fifty like that. So uh, if you are uh, achieving sixty percent, definitely that uh, you will be qualified. But uh, at SafeCon, we will try our best to get maximum 80, 90% because we cover every topic. So you can get 100%. Yes, you're right. Uh, BCSP actually doesn't fix, unlike other exam bodies, um, for, say for example, 45%, 70%, that doesn't fix. So the, their weighted is uh, usually, usually in each exam is uh, different than previous one. Uh, this is their philosophy and, and this is working. So uh, I, in, in last exams, uh, this was around 56% something. Some, sometimes uh, some of our students received, uh, achieved 57% marks. So 57% uh, 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 achieved a pass score, okay? So sometimes it is 56%, sometimes it is 57%, sometimes this even six, uh, 59 or 60%. So, but this is not fixed weightage criteria to pass the exam by the board of CSP. All right, Omer Ansari is asking that I'm a two active active ASP, so then what will be the cost? And then, then he's asking for CSP exam cost. Uh, Omer, CSP exam cost is $350 for each exam sitting. Uh, if you're asking for training, so we charge $400 per candidate. Well, that includes screening and book. Uh, CSP preparation is totally different and ASP uh, preparation is totally different. So both, uh, both are different batch. So what we are uh, enrolling right now for the, both ASP and CSP. So if you are interested to join CSP prep, uh, you are always welcome. The training cost is $400. Uh, that uh, covers training, live online training, and uh, latest materials and books, right? Okay, then what next? Uh, 200 questions and you have to get at least 61. Yes, uh, sometimes 60, 61, 57, this is not fixed with it. Okay, uh, Muhammad Ali Hussain for ASP. Uh, okay, Ali Hussain has shared uh, the, the passing right uh, marks, I think, believe. Okay, ASP exam hours. I think um, uh, if Mr. Fan already told you guys, exam hours are 300 minutes. Five hours. Okay. How many domain are? Uh, yes, uh, this is a, this is a, uh, this is a, this need to be responded, Mr. Pan. Uh, what is ASP ten? What do we? What do you mean by ASP ten? Okay, ASP ten is the latest uh, uh, syllabus uh, that is named as ASP ten because previous version was ASP nine and before that it was ASP ten. So here ASP eight. So if uh, any further revision has happened in ASP, and that is a routine after every two or three years, ASP uh, syllabus is reviewed regularly and has, uh, has been revised mm -hmm. on a two or three year basis. Okay, so the current uh, syllabus is ASP. So you have to prepare uh, yourself for either you are with us or you are preparing yourself, you have to uh, prepare for ASP-10. So ASP-10 is basically a set of topics that is included for a current uh, ASP program. Current, yes. Sir. And there are total nine modules yeah. in the current ASP-10. Previously in ASP-9, that was, a, was seven modules. Okay, mm -hmm. so the number of modules and the number of topics have been increased and the current ASP 10 from seven to nine. But some of the topics have been regrouped and uh, reclassified as a number of many new area have been added also. Excellent. So ASP 10 is basically the current set of body of knowledge uh, set, set forth by board of CSP uh, in order to test your ASP skills in order to award you ASP certification. All right. So. Uh, any any uh, training organization uh, 
the, the, the who delivers, who prepares you for ASP. So they must provide you training and materials as per ASP 10. So we provide you absolutely current materials and training as per ASP 10. Okay, is there any negative marketing, Irfan? No, no, there is no negative marketing. This is the one of the biggest advantage of that you can, uh, uh, you can apply uh, any random formula to select any good advice uh, available for all those which are not, uh, you have not prepared for them so, uh, or for their switch. So simply, simply take on any random basis, okay? But you should not make uh, without any answering any question which you do not have any knowledge on that, okay? Yeah. So this is a big, one of the biggest advantage. Yeah, very right. You are absolutely that no negative marking doesn't mean that uh, you should be confident that you would be able to pass the exam by attempting 100% guesswork. No. So you all, all answers must be uh, educated responses and that educated responsible uh, responses are only possible if you are well trained. Okay. And that is the, that training we provided by safe one. Umar, uh, Umar has asked, uh, he says, uh, Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam, and how many hours daily online classroom? This is two hours the, uh, per day uh, for two weeks a day. Usually we conduct class on Friday and Monday. Uh, all right, for the period of, uh, of uh, almost four months. Okay, I have 14 years uh, plus 12 years experience. Uh, Sakib, Sakib, uh, uh, standard uh, requirement education requirement is basically 16 years education which means a four years bachelor's degree this is a standard requirement by the board of csp uh, two years before they uh, uh, all candidates who have received their degrees outside us they had to undergo degree evaluation that was additional step step but you guys are lucky one that you don't need to go for degree evaluation. You, you have to directly enroll with board of CSP and we will, we will also. Some guys have asked me where what's up that, do you guys help in uh, registering with the board of CSP? The answer is yes, we do support you, we do help you. But only those guys who are enrolled with, uh, enrolled with uh, in, in training program with us, right? Those guys who are our registered students, we help them in enrolling because, because their form is quite difficult. Not everyone can easily fill out that form. So based on our experience and expertise, we help you guys um, without any charge. We will, we will uh, do, do not charge you any, anything extra. And if you are our registered students with, in the training program, we will help you in registering, registering with the board of CSP for the purpose of ASP or CSP, all right? Okay, what is the difference between SMS and S, uh, CSP? Omar, uh, SMS, uh, yes, uh, I'm gonna reply this question. Um, basically, ASP and CSP. CSP is the uh, flagship certification uh, awarded by Board of CSP. This is flagship and uh, CSP is most popular. The basic difference between both is degree, college degree. SMS is for those guys who don't, do not have any college degree, right? In, uh, in, in, in the United States, uh, uh, they are just uh, 10th grade, or, uh, uh, they have done school pass out, they haven't entered into college, but they have experience, they have huge experience. So for those candidates, Board of CSP have uh, launched SMS just two years ago, and it is another very popular program. But uh, for CSP, you must need a degree to enroll. For ASP and CSP, you must need a degree. And if you do not hold a degree and you, you want BCSP certification, you can go for SMS. So this is the basic difference between SMS and CSP. How can I join uh, ASP? Saki Rahman, this is very simple. You need to contact uh, our, uh, our team. Uh, 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 we, we are sharing their number. Uh, just contact me, contact our team. Uh, we will provide you, we ha you have to register online. We will give you online registration form. You have to pay our, submit our fee in our United States bank account, our Pakistan bank account. It's, it's all up to you. Uh, choice is yours. We also have people. If you have people, you can also pay your fee via people. You can also pay fee to our business uh, account in the United States US bank account. Uh, once it is done, 
uh, we will send you confirmation and you are all set to start your training with the pioneer and leader in ASP and CSP. And the next batch tentatively is going to start 20th of August. So till now, it is confirmed. Uh, uh, God forbid, if uh, something bad happens, it might be delayed for maybe ma ma maximum one week. But tentatively, it is planned and is scheduled to start 20th of August. All right, Sakim. So I believe you got your uh, the answer of your question. You can contact me directly. Uh, you can contact with our team. We are going to share the contact numbers of our team right now. All right. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Uh, sorry, just jumping in in the session. Actually, I'm just driving, cannot write the question. Uh, very quickly, my question. My name is Mohammed. I'm from Canada. So just asking a question. Uh, how many times this exam held in a year? Sorry, can, would you please repeat, Mohammed? How many times this uh, exam held in a year, ASP exam? Uh, OK. See, uh, once you register with the board of CSP, uh, you have to pay $160 uh, as, a, as, a, uh, as a student, okay? So uh, you have 12 months to at attempt and pass exam, all right? So uh, for example, if you are able to pass in first attempt, then, then uh, you have to start paying your, uh, your annual fee with the board of, board of, board of CSP, right? So, uh, but, $160 is valid for one year, but for each exam attempt, you have to pay $350, which is exam fee, which is separate. I hope you- So got... can we, uh, no, so for CRSP in Canada, what you can do is there is only three exams in a year. So is it the, the same case for ASP also? Uh, no, no, uh, not this case. For example, if you are going to attempt four, four times, five times, uh, uh, not, in, not, uh, not the case with Board of CSP. We haven't seen uh, in our career. We, uh, we have, we have uh, basically, we have received a candidate uh, who uh, approached us uh, who was failed three times and all he attempted fourth time as well in same calendar year in $160. Uh, Mr. Jor, he's asking the, how many times the exam is offered in a year? Uh, the question is different. No. Uh, uh, Ahmed, you are asking how many times exam is offered or how many attempts? Yeah, I mean, how many times is offered? How many times is offered? Basically, uh, it, uh, it, it, this all up to, is up to you uh, because there are no fixed dates. Uh, if one, okay. If, yeah, there yeah are because CRSP is only three times. So I thought it's the same situation here as well. We can write it any time whenever we are ready, right? Yes, yes. The CRSP has uh, basically have particular exam windows. What I know about that's right. That's right. Uh, yeah. Uh, but for BCSP has uh, doesn't have particular exam windows, right? So that is the reason you can you can attempt as many as you want. If you want to fail that's again and again in sixty one sixty dollar, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> so you, you can attempt again and again, no problem at all. As long as oh. but you have to pay three fifty dollar in for each exam. Keep in mind that. Okay. Jazakallah. Uh, you're most welcome. So, uh, Ahmed, uh, you, uh, you are planning to enroll uh, the training program, coaching program? Yes, I'm thinking. I will let you know, inshallah. Okay, great. Most welcome. Okay. Uh, Asalaamu Alaikum. Uh, sir, I have one question regarding the evaluation of the degree. Uh, does it require to degree to evaluate or our degree, if we submit the degree itself, it is uh, accepted. Oh, oh bad. This is this is great question because uh, most of the candidates uh, outside who have received their degrees outside US, uh, they are worried uh, whether our degrees would be evaluated or not. So the answer is no. Uh, for last two years, uh, outside can, uh, candidates who have received their degrees outside US, they don't need to go for evaluation. But but one thing, uh, there is a process uh, which is called audit. Okay, so if your application falls into audit, which is they, which they select randomly, BCSP, all right? So if your application falls into audit, then they will ask you 
uh, for degree valuation, degree verification, blah, blah. Everything, everything you have to start from scratch. But if you're lucky enough to bypass that audit, they won't ask anything from you. All right. Thank you, sir. Uh, I have one more question, sir, which is uh, really demotivating me. Um, sir, I have seen number of ads and only 1% to 2% jobs, they require ASP or CSP. Mm -hmm. Other than that, each and every job opening, it is only asking about Nibosh, Nibosh, Nibosh. Mm -hmm. So still, that is the reason I'm really confused that if even I appear in this exam, ASP or CSP, then what is the benefit for me where I would get the edge when there is no, no one is asking for the uh, uh, ASP or CSP in the job opening? Okay, great question. Thank you very much for that. See, uh, uh, this is uh, for, for to understand the answer. You have to picture, picture. You have to picture this. Apple versus Samsung. Apple is the king. So, uh, does uh, did, do you see advertisement of Apple anywhere in media? The answer is no. But other smartphones need advertising. So, uh, this BCSP is the king. This is gold standard certification. And see. Uh, coming into job ad is not the criteria of whether you should do or not. So uh, see, because most of, because this is Apple, this is not banana. You are comparing Apple with banana. Uh, after passing Nibosh IDC, which uh, uh, I'm not degrading uh, Nibosh, but uh, they have their own value. But see, usually contracting companies hire those guys with Nibosh because they cannot afford to hire a CSP or, or ASP because ASP CSPs are hired only by client companies having plants. It, it, is, it is a different flavor. Nibosh is a different flavor. Nibosh is just uh, having a certificate, it's a product, and then that uh, becomes a requirement. Some companies have said, okay, this is mandatory. If you want to work as safety supervisor or inspector in the field, okay, so you must, must, you must have that. But they cannot afford to hire an ASPC because ASP CSP syllabus is not that something like Ayush Nibosh. ASP CSP syllabus is totally different, as uh, as we already told uh, in, in in the beginning of our presentation, that this is mathematics, physics, chemistry. You must have a four years bachelor's degree. You must have four years verified risk management experience. So. Uh, uh, not to, uh, this is elite certification. Not too much people would be able to register with the board of CSP because of stringent criteria. You have to understand that this is a different flavor. This is different category. Category, right? So uh, 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 ads are not coming. That doesn't mean that it it is not having a demand. See, ad knock in uh, Abu Dhabi. Uh, they always always on their plants. They prefer CSPs. You can verify my statement. There are now, uh, since ever since we have launched ASP CSP outside US in 2012, there are now thousands of ASP CSPs. You can search on LinkedIn. It is viral. So there are thousands of professionals are doing ASP CSP. Uh, are, are, they, um, are, they, um, are they unaware of the job market? So they know the value. They know the job market that what is they are going to achieve, the gold, right? Uh, Barkatullah. Uh, I think well, you want to add something. Yes. Uh, yeah, sir. First of all, sir, thank you very much for conducting such a fruitful event. And uh, we really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, to all the honorable and respected sir, guests and hosts for everything, sir. Sir, I have two questions in my mind, sir. Mm -hmm. The first one is uh, regarding the mathematical calculations during the exams, sir. Mm -hmm. As it is strictly like mentioned in their uh, official way, Sorry, that we we can use only specific types of calculators. Sir. My question is, sir, apart from that, sir, can we use any paper or pen to use like a rough process to get the accurate conclusion, sir? This is the first question, sir. Mm -hmm. The second question is, sir, uh, as far as the self preparation is concerned, is it possible to clear the exam uh, by reading thoroughly the CSP 10, CSP 10 book and David Yates book? 
and uh, uh, along with that, the one Roger Brar books. Sir. So if we study thoroughly these three books, sir, we will be in the position to attend the exam if we prefer to uh, like on the based on the self study, sir. These are the only two questions, sir. Great. Thank wonderful, you. Wonderful, beautiful questions, and to the point, uh, please, Mr. Fan. Many of the students I know personally that we have started preparing themselves for many programs, for example. Uh, but uh, for some uh, unforeseen reason, for uh, inconsistency and for having a break, because nobody bound them to study on a regular basis, except if you were preparing yourself or enrolling yourself uh, with SAF1 program. So SAF1 will have a, two classes in a week, you will have a regular. Uh, classes and you will have to uh, prepare yourself also. So that's why you will, after completing the, uh, this, the duration of AS preparation, you will be uh, very much qualified that you can appear in exam confidently. Uh, but when you are preparing yourself, you can do that as well. But you have to be very uh, strict yourself and you have to uh, prepare Prepare yourself at least two hours per day. If you you can do that, and you can also understand uh, without any assistance, then you can uh, appear in the exam. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We cannot hear you. I think he left. Uh, I think internet issue. Uh, what what was your and uh, uh, next question, Barkat? Uh, uh, the next question was the preparation based on the self study, sir. Like uh, if we study this Pitan book. Yes. And uh, Ross Brar book mm -hmm. and David Yard's book, sir. So, do you think because there is a huge list of books? Whenever we open mm -hmm. the BCSP sites, uh, there is a huge list, and when we get, see, we get scary yes. for the moment being, sir. Like, uh, yeah. so if we like, there are so many books up there, sir. And uh, I think I don't, it's very hard to go through all of them, sir. So, is it possible, sir, if we go through like the CSP 10? And a Roger Breyer book, and uh, along with the David Yates book. So, <laughs> do you think, like uh, having studied thoroughly these three books, will we be able to attend the exam? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you, you, uh, that's possible because in uh, in our career, uh, especially the training career, a lot of professionals, experienced professionals, have uh, succeeded in exam uh, by choosing the route of only self preparation. That's it. They have just uh, uh, used uh, Span book, uh, David Yates book, Roger book. Uh, they haven't enrolled any coaching program. Uh, if you are confident enough, if you are confident enough, but see, coaching program gives you confidence. Coaching program like with SafeCon, which uh, has a long history, nine years of history of uh, helping people to pass this exam. That gives you confidence. That's it. Because uh, spending 400 bucks because it's a big certification. So without coaching, uh, your exam might be at risk. So if you want to be sure, if you want to be 100% sure, you would like to come into contact of, uh, of a seasoned trainer. You want to get the, the coaching help. So that will actually increase your confidence, right? So if you want to- uh, Yes. Pardon, sir? Yes, yes, please. Yeah, sir, uh, my first question was regarding the mathematical calculation, sir. I couldn't uh, got uh, it answer clearly. So, so will we, uh, can we use a paper and pencil or something for calculations in order to get the correct conclusion of the question, sir? Or, or, or else we have to rely only on the paper itself only? Yes, uh, he will come back and he will he will respond to the question. No worries about that because 
This is related to his domain, so he will respond to your question. Uh, Mr. Rafiq Rahman, he is raising hand since long. Yes, Mr. Rafiq. Yes, uh, good uh, good evening, everybody. I am Rafiq from Saudi Arabia as a safety manager from uh, 10 years I am working here. I have just one question that if someone is from non-mathematical background, just like I, I, I am, I did FSC and uh, in a pre-medical and after that I did MBA. Mm -hmm. So my total background is non-mathematical. If someone uh, from non-mathematical background and they want to attempt uh, ASP, mm -hmm. so ASP would be easy for them or hard? They can uh, do ASP easily? Good, good, uh, a good question, Rafiq. Uh, first thing is that uh, not 100% syllabus is technical or uh, based on mathematics or algebra. Uh, only between a rough idea of, uh, 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 about 40% of the course content is based on mathematics and algebra. Rest of the content is uh, like you already covered in your life, uh, uh, career life, like risk management, plain yes. topics, like plain topics that you already are familiar with. So uh, uh, sometimes people uh, are scared that they are going to attempt to math. Oh, this is very hard. Mathematics? No, I don't know math. I hate math. math. So uh, don't need to fear about that. Don't need to be scared. Uh, just 30 to 40 percent content is technical. Rest of content is plain that you can attempt very easily. Number one. Number two, regarding all mathematics content or algebra content, this is seventh or eighth standard level math that you already learn or covered in school, right? But why? Because yes. you are away from school since long. So uh, that is the reason uh, you, are, you are feeling scared. So we are here to uh, help you again. We are here to uh, build your concepts, right? We, we build your cons mathematical concepts in such a way that you never feel shy. Uh, we, you never you never feel hate with the math. This is our guarantee. You you will enjoying your content. You will enjoying your preparation, especially technical content which is math and algebra. So you will fall in love. You, so you will fall in love with the math because this will help you in your career. As as a plant safety manager, a lot of mathematical uh, uh, terms, technologies, and concepts will help you successfully carrying out carrying out your job. Because safety is not safety is a science. This is not art. So BCSP teaches you that science, right? So science yes. means evidence based. So when you say simple statement, this is art, right? But you, when you say okay, evidence based. So in evidence based, you have to produce some evidences based on mathematical models, algebra models, right? So but we will teach you in a very fun way that you will love the content, inshallah. So no worries about that uh, if you join. But again, coaching gives you confidence. Again, coaching gives you a lot of confidence. Uh, $400 is not too much money, I believe. Uh, in today's uh, high inflation environment, this is even the pocket money of a lot of college boys. So if you invest, this is investment. This is not spending. This is invest. So if you invest $400, rest assure you, this will pay you back. This will, this will pay you return in form of passing this prestigious certification. And you will be writing ASP, CSP after your name, inshallah. Right? Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Mozam, uh, uh, he is raising hand. Please, Mr. Mozam. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Wa alaikum salam. Uh, sir, someone, uh, I heard somewhere, uh, someone told me they are change a new uh, pattern or question uh, questions in, uh, in October, BCSP. Yes, yes, that is ASP 10. Uh, that's we discussed earlier. Uh, this is ASP 10 body of knowledge. So what we are teaching is the is the latest and current pattern. No worries about that. Um, it means it means uh, you know uh, I am uh, uh, taking the admission in last year mm -hmm. with Sir uh, in in March 2020. Now I uh, I am interested to uh, give them exam in September. Now mm -hmm. I'm uh, giving the exam the old questions or new questions. Ah, okay, okay. That I need to uh, confirm that because I cannot comment because I'm heading the company, but the technically I had Sharif would be able to better respond to you. So we will come back to you, no problem. All right. 
we will thank you, thank you, you can contact me directly so we will respond to your query uh, personally no worries about that can... sir i have very good experience with you sir last uh, one and a half years i have very good experience with safe corner alhamdulillah thank you very much sir believe sir fan very cooperative with me thank you very much you also thank you we work hard and we we are genuinely interested for your success so uh, uh, countless people are our ambassador around the world thank you very much for your great feedback mr mazum thank you thank you sir thank you so much and i believe uh, i have a question sir that uh, if uh, someone is interested only for the uh, getting the material Yes. Uh, so, how much uh, would be the cost uh, for the training material, including books and its fan books? Yes, yes, Umar, that is possible. That is possible. Uh, you, uh, that is uh, uh, fall around between one hundred fifty to two hundred dollar. So, but the, for that, you need to contact our team, and we, we can uh, we can facilitate you with only materials. That is possible, right? So, uh, Mr. Mazum, a uh, uh, last thing for with you, uh, I, uh, because you are very much happy, very much satisfied with Safecon. So, uh, we believe that you will recommend our company uh, with your friends and colleagues. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Inshallah, inshallah, sir. Thank you very much. I will much. recommend to uh, my friends. Sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, we will take uh, next question. Um, is there any further question or uh, we should go for uh, because uh, uh, i think this is a quite long program we started around 10:30 now it is more than 1 hour around 1 and 1/2 hour okay it's a, it's a, it, this was great presentation we really enjoyed this was great webinar we really enjoyed this uh, your active participation your participation and your questions um Uh, i uh, i believe that uh, 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 you will get help from safecon for the purpose of becoming csp if you have more questions no worries about that you are in the whatsapp group you can keep asking us questions directly we will keep posting in the group whatsapp group become csp and uh, you can directly ask us questions if you have more questions in future so the the process will never stop the process of learning and growing will never stop Okay. Uh, for example, uh, if uh, then th 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 there's a possibility that a question comes in your mind later on, so you can uh, you can ask ask questions. Okay. Raising hand by let let's see, um, Mr. Hassan. I think it's Sanullah Muhammad. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I had so many questions, but uh, all of these have been answered somewhere. So. Thank you so much for for arranging such an informative session, and uh, we have got lots of thing, things. So thank you very much, sir. Thank, thank you, you so very much. Very much. Thank you, madam. Very much to all of you guys too. Uh, I we love you all of you guys. All of you are safety leaders. You are interested for your career growth. Uh, we love you all because these guys are precious and very rare. So those guys who are interested for their learning, grooming, and growing. we love all of these guys and we genuinely help you guys to become successful all right so thank you very much asanullah mohammad as well is is old fellow with us in all social media linkedin and facebook and very very good and active safety leader as well okay so uh, with this we want to conclude today's uh, live orientation uh, what is the feedback i i just want to get a, a few feedbacks regarding today's because uh, as asanullah said that this was wonderful presentation what are some other feedbacks regarding today's webinar orientation uh, did it help you yes sir of course it helped a lot uh, thank you very much for arranging such an informative session thank you thank you very much thank you very much yes sir this was very informative uh, presentation thank you so much for giving us this uh, such a good information thank you so much thank you very much thank you your thank you very much all of you guys your your time uh, uh, everyone we received uh, outstanding feedback from all participants so keep learning keep growing and uh, uh, stay connected and stay blessed thank you very much all of you thank you sir thank you so much good, good night and okay, thank you sir thank you very much good thank night. you sir good night sir and happy entertainment to everyone